It's Father George Bassus with you from the Holy Syriac Orthodox Church. I am someone who practices masturbation. Do I need to get rid of it? To help you answer this question, ask yourself, does masturbating draw me closer to God or puts a boundary between us? Let's follow a principle from St. Paul in the beginning, which says, All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. We understand from this principle that Christian can do anything, but nothing should have the power over him. As Christians, we always try to build a relationship with God and live for His glory. But by committing this habit, we're doing the opposite by fulfilling our body's desires and ego, allowing it to control us. So, what can I do to get rid of this habit? Do not worry, my dear. This habit is just like any other lust. You can stop it by teaching yourself to resist it, step by step, through the grace of God. And here are four practical steps that will help you quit masturbation. First one, acknowledge your weaknesses through to the help of the Holy Spirit. Every human has weaknesses and needs. So be honest with yourself and know your weaknesses and your physical needs. When you acknowledge them, examine them with God and declare them to Him. Tell Him, my Lord, save me, help me, cleanse me. I am a weak and sinful servant. Help me to not fall into this sin ever. Because you said my grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in weaknesses. Please God, strengthen me and support me with your grace. Secondly, define the causes. Define what things evoke you to masturbate. Touching, thinking, watching, hearing, imagining, etc. Are all things that can stimulate any person. For example, many people watch pornography or touch their bodies in impure ways, which then leads them to masturbate. Also, some people do it because they are sitting for a long period of time with themselves doing nothing, so they get evoked. Thirdly, run away. After you define what makes you fall in this sin, run away from them. For example, if you think that pornography is what is stimulating you avoid watching such things if you think that sitting by yourself will lead you to masturbate try to keep yourself surrounded by people and never be alone make use of your time exercise work study serve pray attend the holy liturgy learn new things just keep yourself busy so that at the end of the day you are tired and can't even do it also do not eat more than you need. Fast when possible and stick to your Bible and the saints' stories so that you can be influenced by them. St. Paul says, resist to the point of shedding your blood, striving against sin. Do not be easy with yourself. Tell yourself, if I said no, so no. Tell God, if my will is weak, making me unable to stop, your will to save me is able to do so. And trust me, you will get rid of it. As a priest, I hear a lot of confessions and I know many people who were able to stop it even after getting addicted to it. Fourth, do not lose hope. Know that the journey to quit masturbation is difficult and you need to do it step by step as St. John Climacus said in his book, The Letter of the Divine Ascent. For example... At the beginning of quitting, you will feel that all your body is pushing you to do it because it is like any other addiction. It gives us a sense of full satisfaction while doing it. But make sure that you do not follow your body's desires and know that you may fall while trying to stop and that's okay. Just raise up again and say, do not rejoice over me, my enemy. When I fall, I will arise. You might be also chased with impure dreams while sleeping, which means that you are on the right track because your brain is just retrieving all the old pictures that are stored since you are not giving it any new ones. But make sure that you do not remember those dreams while you are awake because evil spirits use them to make you fall in pure thoughts. Finally, you will achieve chastity 
and will be healed from this habit. Do not be discouraged, my beloved. And remember that no baby will walk immediately. Instead, he will first crawl, then try to walk and fall, then try again until he walks and runs too. Do not be afraid. God loves you, and he came to raise the weak. With all his love, do you think that he will not heal you after seeing you trying to stop it? Surely he will. And remember, feeling guilty after committing it is not the solution for this habit. Regretting, repenting, training yourself to not fall in it ahead of time is the best solution. And when it comes, remember to run away from it and do not give your soul the opportunity to feel free. And remember to tell your spiritual father while confessing your sins about your progress. May the Lord protect you all from evil attacks and temptation. May God bless you all. Thank you.